picture of Ron and me. A photo. Do you want to see that, Z? Yeah, I'll get the leader. It's, okay. I, <laughs> she I wants want, to show the I want to see you guys. <laughs> so anyway, many years later, uh, after Ron had died and... Uh, that I had repainted the entire apartment white. I thought, oh, I'll start all over. White, white, white. And then I was lying here, and I, you know, I wake up at night, and, and I would wake up to this, like, white room, and I felt like I was in a mental hospital. Oh. So I decided to have it wallpapered, and this is an 18th century English design. Wow. Where'd you get it? At a wallpaper place in Midtown, mm -hmm. and this old hippie guy from Woodstock put it in. And then Jim Fletcher and I painted the ceiling, you may see, called Pharaoh's Gold. What does Pharaoh's refer to? The Pharaoh's, you know. Oh, Pharaoh's. And, uh, I thought you said Pharaoh's. Well, F-E-Y-R-O-S-E. Which, -E. yeah. which is nice, too. Pharaoh's. Pharaoh's. <laughs> My idea for the bedroom was that it should look like the White House. That was my design idea. Did you know what the White House looked I like? I have taken a tour there. Oh, yeah. I took a tour <laughs> the day R Richard Nixon left, oh. flew away on the helicopter. Wow. So, and, um, uh, wait, 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 the bedroom. <laughs> the ben what other really important um, scenes have taken place here? Oh, in your life? honey, <laughs> I've lived in this apartment uh, 30 uh two and a half years. I moved in in uh, uh, late 1979. It was the apartment of one of my best friends, David Schweitzer, and he was living in Los Angeles, and he, uh, the crazy Andy Warhol people, Alan Midget, was living here and trashed the place, and then Alan he was a Warhol hanger-on type person. You know, one of those very good-looking young men, mm -hmm. kind of drug, hustler, whatever, mm -hmm. would be actor, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyway, David said, oh, I have to get rid of Alan. He tried to steal the apartment, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I saw Elizabeth LeCompte in the Maryland Project. Yes. And all those early things. And I met Ron then. I met Ron then, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll never forget, one of the first times... I went to see a show, and after he said, oh, I'm having a party at my house in Brooklyn. Why don't you come, me and my girlfriend? And I had never been to Brooklyn. It was like, you know, I only lived in New York of a few... Manhattan, never heard of it. Yeah, right. And so we sat in the bottom of this van and didn't have all any windows. And we were, Whose van was I it? I don't know. Some Ron drove the van? <laughs> yeah. It was probably Liz's van. It was some old... The one that's in the movie in Route 1 and 9. <laughs> right, probably. And I was like, where are we going? I didn't even know him at all, but I was, thought he was very attractive. Anyway, we went to this party, and that was one of the first times I spent time with him socially. But moving forward, years later. Who where, told did you, you that? where did you keep your money in, in the, which was this, the 70s or the 80s? 70s. Did you, 70, did you keep 70s. it in like your shoe or something? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> like just, so you wouldn't get robbed by a hustler? Or? That's I, how I, you know, I almost I'm got robbed to... once, but I fought them off. I kicked, on 42nd Street, I kicked. And anyway, it's hot in here. Uh, so anyway, I went to see the show, and I was like, and then it was over, and it was only like 11.30 or something. And you were with these people at the No, show. no, I went by, by myself. Yourself. I used to go to the bottom line by myself. And then I was like, it's not so late. I'm, I want to go out. I want to do something. So I went to this gay bar called The Bar, right on the corner. And it was like this, you know, I had been there before. It was like this big gay bar. So I walk in, and the first person I see is Ron Vauder. And he plied me with drinks, and we stayed there till like 4 o'clock when it closed. And then he invited me over to his apartment for tea. And I was like, tea. <laughs> All right. And he lived in this horrible, filthy, tiny little apartment on, um, what's that street? McDougal, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so wait, the, you, you said that it's not the first time you guys are lying in this bed today? No. Are you kidding? <laughs> When was the first time? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've known Kate many, many years. Of course, she's 
somewhat younger than I am, but... Only somewhat. Only, yeah, right. She's been here many times, innumerable times she's been here. By herself, with others. Do you have a Christmas tree? No, I haven't had one for years. Why? Uh, I'm as I saw. I think I'm part of the war on Christmas. I think Christmas is good for children. Right. And Ron always wanted a tree, and we had a lovely tree. Good night. But um, it's so by yourself. I don't know.